the Husqvarna Viking Designer Diamond Royale has a deluxe stitch system. Well, that's a fancy name for a really cool tension and a really smart machine to sense the thickness of my fabric and make sure I have the perfect amount of threads going through the machine to make the stitch come out perfect on the front and the back. So depending on your stitch you've selected, so right now we just have a regular straight stitch, you're gonna see a symbol that indicates tension, usually in that 4.6 range, but that will change based on the, the stitch you select. Sometimes, for example, if we choose a zigzag, that number is much higher, a, a 50, and that is what is called the sensor, the, the thread portioning part of the machine. So what happens is, is depending on which area of the, or which stitch is selected, it will change. So I'm gonna lift this up, okay? So if you wanna take, or peek inside, or clean anything out, just lift up on the bottom part, and this whole guy kinda comes up. So when you're in the, the tension options, that's the, the discs right here that squeeze together on your thread, giving the thread its normal tension. But when the machine thinks that it needs to do something different, like uh, proportion the thread that goes through, there will be something else that engages. And you'll have to look on your own machine because they're right down here and they're kind of dark so you can't always see it. But they'll be like three little, they kind of look like bullets. And what they do is they mash together and give the thread a little way to go through the machine. And that will tell the machine how much thread needs to go through to give that perfect stitch. It's pretty cool. Now, if you do get threads that are pulled to the top side, like the, the top part is too tight, well, then you just take this to a lower number. And if it's the tension that's showing, that's the same thing. Now, if your threads are going to the back too much, then you're gonna go ahead and increase it. And it doesn't matter whether the thread portioning or the tension picture is is showing, you really are gonna do the exact same thing, either increase it or decrease it. Now, notice those increments are very small when it's in the tension mode. It just goes down like a, a point tenth of a, an option here. Is If I change it, a lot of times I'm gonna change it a good full number. So if it was at 4.6, I'm gonna bring it down to 3.6. See if I'm really seeing the changes needed for a better looking stitch. So pretty much this machine's gonna be smarter than you. Let it do its job. If you find yourself always adjusting it for, some, for a certain thread combination, something you have different, maybe a different thread in your needle than you do in your bobbin, you can come over to the set menu, go into the machine settings. That's gonna be the one, two, third, function down, touch the sewing machine, and come down to tension slash proportioning compensation. So you can come in here and actually adjust it for embroidery or sewing for either one of these. And if you're always increasing it, well, now you can kind of globally set it to be higher, and then that way it's gonna be for every single stitch that you pick. So it's really nice. You have that option to kind of make it manually tighter or manually looser globally for your entire machine. So when you come back here, you can go back, set it to normal when you're back to regular threads, and away you go. So let the machine do the work for you, and I think you'll find you'll have perfect stitching all the time.